Hello coders, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So in this video, we will learn about decision making and TypeScript. So from this video, we will work on code and I will not show you presentation. So let's start. Okay, so the first thing we will do is we will create a new TypeScript file. And I hope you remember how we create a TypeScript file. You can simply create a file with an extension called TS. Okay, so if a file is having an extension TS, that means it, it is a TypeScript file. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to open the node.js command prompt. You can directly create a file with TS extension as well. That doesn't matter at all. You can also use notepad plus plus or any other code editor. But here I'm using Visual Studio code. So either you create a file with an extension TS or you can simply write in command prompt first navigate to this directory okay because this is where we want to I want to create the file so I will write code I will write CD and desktop and then TypeScript okay so I am inside my directory where I want to create the files now let's create a new file so I will write code and decision making dot TS Okay, so here is a new file created. Here is a new file created and let's define a variable here. Okay, so we will write let. So let and let's say the name of the variable is a and the type is number and let's say the value is 5. Now if we want to check if the number is positive or not, then what we can do? we can write an F okay so in decision making we define a condition if the condition is true a code is executed if it is not true the code is not executed so the syntax of F is we write F in small letters then parenthesis and inside the parenthesis we define the condition that is to be evaluated okay so inside F we will define the condition now what can be the condition to check the number as positive or not? It should be greater than zero, right? So here we can write a and we can use the greater than operator zero. So finally it is if a is greater than zero, then here we can print console.log and we can print a is positive okay so this is how an f works okay if this condition is true we can print a is positive so this code will only be executed if this condition is true if this is false this line will not be executed now if you have only one line dependent on the f you can delete the curly braces so if you have only one line that you need to execute when this condition is true okay if this is only a single line you can write it without parenthesis but if you have multiple lines or a group of code that you need to execute when the condition defined is true then in that case you need to put this is necessary you need to put curly braces to make the group of code dependent on the condition that is specified okay right now we have only one line so we can put the curly braces or we cannot put the curly braces that is our own choice but i will say that use curly braces okay it is a good idea according to me so this is an f okay now let me show you by running the code so what we will do we will write tsc then the file name this is in making.ts and we will hit enter then we can write node decision making.js you see a is positive because the condition is true if we will put minus 5 here we will not get any output you see because the condition is false okay so this was f now after f we have if else let's say you want to execute some other thing when this condition is false 
so in this case you can add an else to the if okay so I will do it separately so that you will understand better so let's define a new variable okay this time I will let's say we have a number let x of type number equals to let's say we have value 7 okay now this time we want to check if the number is uh, even or odd okay so we can write if if x mod 2 equal to equal to 0 now if we divide some number with 2 if we divide any number with 2 and we get the remainder as 0 that means the number is even okay so if we divide any number with 2 and the remainder we get as 0 that means the number is even if the remainder we get is not 0 then we can write else that means the number is odd okay so here we can simply write number is even and here we can write console dot log number is odd so this is an f and an else okay if this condition is true this will be executed if this condition is not true this will be executed okay let me show you now in this case we will get the number is odd okay because if we will divide 7 with 2 we will get 1 as remainder so this condition is false here so else will be executed and we will get number as odd so as you can see we are getting number as odd okay so this is how we work with if and else now let's say you want multiple condition to be evaluated in that case you can use if else and if okay so we have if else and if so how it works let's say we have another number let's say we have grade or mark of type number okay and the value is let's say 45 okay now we can write if the mark is greater than 70 or let's say 90 then we can write uh, console.log a plus okay if the mark is greater than 90 we are getting a plus okay else if if the mark is greater than let's say mm, what 60 console dot log let's say B okay or any grade it doesn't make any sense here I am just explaining how if else if works okay so if mark is greater than 90 we have a plus else if mark is greater than 60 we will get B else if mark is greater than 50 we will print OK and finally we can write an else here and we can write fail OK now if this condition is true we will get A plus and all the remaining blocks will be skipped OK if this condition is true we will get B and all the remaining blocks will be skipped now if no condition is true okay nothing from the conditions are true this is false this is false and this is false as well now in this case the else will be executed so it is a default condition when nothing is true else will be executed okay so this is how we work with if else if and else okay else is optional you want to put put it you don't want to put don't put it okay and you can put as many else f's as you want you can put as many else f's as you want it doesn't limit anything you can put any number of conditions to be evaluated that 
is up to you what you want to check okay so let me show you uh, it is working so let's check it you see we are getting fail because number is 45 and no condition are true no conditions are true so we are getting fail as the output so that's it for the if else guys i hope you found this video helpful if you did please hit on the like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thanks for watching guys and in the next video we will learn about switch okay